you chose Dubsado for your CRM. It's not about setting up Dubsado. It's about setting up your business. It's about creating this foundation for your business to lay on and really be able to grow strong and be sustainable and profitable for you and your family and, and everything that you want to achieve out of it. So The first part of mapping out your processes might seem a little silly, but it actually is what's going to draw everything out of your brain and put it down on paper the best and allow you to really get organized before you start setting up your CRM. And this has been a really good process for me for years. I used to do this with my students whenever I would do workshops. And it really is the best way to get everything you have down on paper so that you can allow yourself to focus on the things that you really need to be focusing on. What we're gonna do is you're gonna take out a piece of paper and put the either a service, one of your service offerings, or just put processes in the middle and then you'll circle it. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna create lines and branches off of that and create what's considered a mind map. Put the word process in the middle and circle it. And then I'm gonna create branches coming off of it, sort of looks like a spider. And then I'm just gonna put down on paper. So in my processes, I need something for onboarding. I need something for offboarding. Maybe I have an editing process and I'll just, keep going and like doing the topics, whatever those need to be. There's no finite way to do this. It's however your brain works. Um, if you end up doing several of these because you want to do one for each service offering or if you realize along the way, hey, my onboarding process is multi-layered, um, you, can, you can create other branches off of that and make notes. Um, you can also add in things like emotions, like I want them to feel this, or I want my client to know this information, or I need to schedule appointments. Whatever that information is, just get it all on paper and then just walk away. The reason for that is because this can be very mentally exhausting and you need that time to just internally process it yourself so that you can come back. What you're going to do then is you're gonna take this mind map and your brainstorm and you are going to put it in a chronological order on something like a flow chart or a diagram to where you can really see how your processes are going to work and how they relate to each other. I recommend something like Lucidchart or Draw.io because they're both uh, have free programs and they're really easy to use. When we did this, we had separated all of our processes out. But now I need to figure out, like, how does someone go from onboarding to being a client? How does someone go from a client to my project being completed? Are there transitional elements? Are there benchmarks? Are there time deadlines? And then how do those pieces all work together? Do I do them? Are they manual? Are they automatic? Um, are there yes, no functions? Are there follow up pieces? Just looking at each and every part of that process and really figuring it out from an A to Z versus it just being a messy sort of mapping. Now you're actually organizing it and putting it into a visual. The next step is to walk away again. And again, just let everything process, let it simmer a little bit and really think about okay, does this make sense for my client? From a client's perspective, is this what they would be wanting from my process? Are there areas that maybe you can condense? Are there areas you can do better? Are there areas that are just going to be a pain point for you to execute and you need to rework that a little bit for your lifestyle? And then you, when you come back, you can tweak those things, figure out if there's areas maybe you need to do some more research on or figure out another tool or platform that you need to implement. And then we actually go into the implementation phase. So the last part is taking this map and taking everything that you've done through this process and actually putting it to work. And so finding something like Dubsado, um, along with some other tools like Zapier or IFFTT or uh, Trello or Asana to help you automate and systematize as much of your business as possible without removing you as a business owner. 
I personally don't agree with completely removing you, completely automating every single piece, but I do believe in automating things to where you can manage your business and your clients properly and be able to achieve the goals and visions that you're wanting to achieve within your business. I hope that this was helpful for you and gave you a little bit of direction. I am super excited that you are here on my YouTube channel and I hope that you subscribe and then I see you back again next week.